Hello guys, welcome to my channel Mr. Jefferson 105. On today's video I'm going to provide an honest review of the UM920 microphone by Uhuru. They approached me to see if I could give my opinion about the device and this is my take on it. I hope you like it. Let's take a look at the unboxing. The product comes in a suitable box with an explanation of what it does as well as a manual which is easy to use for setting up the system in less than 15 minutes. As you can see all the parts are very well enclosed in foam as well as a rugged case that is used for transporting the microphone safely giving you the peace of mind that it will arrive ok to its destination. Inside the case on the left we find a microphone with a condenser of 16mm in diameter. The high fidelity sound condenser and quality electronics are enclosed in a metal grid that gives the microphone a great look as well as protection from many knocks and falls. Below the condenser we can see the audio op-amp and filter that is also used in other commonly known microphones such as the Sudotrack ST800. At the bottom of the mic we can find a female USB 2.0 port that is enclosed in a metal tube which is easy to take apart if any repairs need to be done. The microphone itself has a weight of 213 grams and a matte finish paint which gives it a nice feel when held. Furthermore, the whole assembly has a weight of 1.3 kilograms to ensure the mic has good stability when it's standing on your desk. Let me ask you why would you need a desktop podcasting microphone like this? Well, the kit has been designed for people who like singing, doing voiceovers, gaming and much more. The sampling rate of this microphone is 192kHz and 24-bit. This means that this type of recording has roughly 256 times better resolution in comparison to a recording sample at 16-bit 44.1kHz. In other words, the amount of quantization is reduced massively. Also, for those of you that make music, if you are in a studio having a sampling rate of 24-bit allows you to adjust the levels of the track without introducing more noise when the gain is increased. Moreover, as previously shown, this kit also comes with a pop filter to help record a clear voice especially for words that contain the letters B for Bravo, F for Fox and P for Papa. To assemble the microphone is straightforward. The first thing is to grab the iron foot and the extendable pole. Then screw them together as shown. Take your time as this is very fiddly. Ensure that it is firmly attached and then proceed to grab the shock mount. Before screwing it, I suggest undoing the butterfly nut located in the shock mount as well as the screw located in the extendable pole. After this, you can proceed to screw the two parts together as shown. Moving on, you can grab the condenser mic which will be attached to the shock mount as follows. Press the two loops on the shock mount which is basically a strong spring then proceed to insert the microphone as shown. An important note to take is the orientation of the microphone as it has a cardioid pattern. This means that the logo Uhuru should be pointing towards you. Once the mic has been fastened into place, the male USB can be plugged in. The next thing is to attach the pop filter to the extendable pole and adjust it as required, ensuring that it is at least 10 to 20 centimeters distance between the condenser and the pop filter. The last thing will be to connect the other end of the USB cable to your PC and use it with your favorite app of software. So right now I am talking to the blue snowball microphone which is a very similar microphone to the Uhuru. Now they both have a cardio pattern but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut up and then you, I want you to see if you can actually listen to the fans that are coming from my laptop. The both microphones are at the same height and away and the distance away from my mouth so you should be able to see if you can pick up the sound of the microphones. As you can see the graphs don't lie 
and there is a small noticeable difference between the two microphones picking up the noise of the fans uh, so if you are in a very loud environment or in a room like mine which is not very acoustic friendly then having a microphone that minimizes the extra noise that comes from your surroundings is an ideal thing to have so the next section of the review i'm going to read a small paragraph of a book that i'm reading which is called the lost city of the incas by Hiram bigham he goes like this much of the wild country of the eastern peruvian and this was still unknown when Hiram bigham set out to explore the area in the early days of the 20th century in 1911 he discovered the famous Inca city that was to make him famous, Machu Picchu. Spread out across a high mountain ridge, Machu Picchu managed to survive the Spanish conquest without being detected, preserving untouched some of the finest Inca architecture in existence. However, Bigham's achievement did not end there. In the space of one short season, he went on to discover two more lost Inca cities. Victos, where one of the last Inca emperors was assassinated, and another settlement buried deep below the cloud forest in the jungle. The following reading was done on the snowball. Civil engineering. In the making of roads, bridges, aqueducts, and irrigation ditches, they showed a remarkable knowledge of engineering. At the time of the Spanish conquest, the Incas paved roads run from thousands of miles through the central Andes from Quito, the capital of Ecuador, all the way to Argentina, Chile, as well as the Pacific coast over the mountains of the warm valleys of the eastern Andes. Mm -hmm.